What's up, everybody? This is Chris Jolly, a.k.a. The Freight Coach, and I'm coming to you with another Friday Freight Tip. I want to address accessorials today. Um, I was on a couple of calls this week with uh, a bunch of carriers, and there's a growing trend going on of brokers not paying carriers accessorials because, and I quote, we already paid you way too much money to haul the freight anyways. So if you're embarking down that road, and I'm assuming you're still billing your customer for those things, this won't end well for you, okay? Because as always, there are repercussions for our actions, and I think a lot of us might have a hard time accepting that. And I understand rates are high, but that does not make it right to tell a carrier that we're not going to pay you for a layover, we're not going to pay you for detention, and we're not going to reimburse you for lumpers after you've told them that you're going to do all of those things. And then in the end, when they go and ask for that additional money that you agreed to pay them, you tell them, I already paid you enough money to haul the load. I'm not paying you anything else. You know, they're going to file against your bond. They're going to, in a worst case scenario, reach out to your customer directly and ask them about this. And then your customer is going to say, I already reimbursed them for that. They billed me for that. So how are you going to manage that? As a broker, how are you going to take care of yourself? Ask yourself that question if you're, if you're, going, to, if you're going to take on these little shady tactics. Is it really worth losing your customers over you guys? Information is very present out there for all of us to utilize. I hope you guys found this information useful. If you did, please hit that like button down below and share this with somebody who might need to see this today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Pat, pat.